first, let's side table that for a little bit. Side table it. Yeah, let's put it to the side and talk about side table. Yeah, so side table is something that I noticed this new project from Chris Moffat. And longtime listeners of the show will definitely know that I'm inspired by visuals. <laughs> and this is one of those that's really nice, right? Like not long ago when Guido was on the show, we talked about uh a missing number visualizer for pandas. So you could have a quick view of just like, I got this data. I just need to really quickly see like kind of what it looks like, what's missing, correlate missing elements and, and whatnot. And so side table is in this general Zen of things. It's like, I've loaded up some data. I just want to quickly ask some que questions and, and get a sense of what's going on. Like, uh, I've got a pandas data frame and I want to be able to say, you know, can you just break this down by like, show me the top 20% of this and then group the other stuff into just like an other category. Also, instead of just getting like a plain text output, you get a cool, um, like alternating row color, nice table with extra information and whatnot. And it's usually something really, really simple. Like I could go to the data frame and say, just give me the frequency of state and just, you know, group it by that or, or something. And it's, uh, it does a, a group on those and a whole bunch of cool stuff. So really, really neat uh, visualization. There's a picture in the show notes that shows you with, without it and with it. And given that the nicer version requires even less typing than the not nice version, I kind of <laughs> like it. <laughs> yeah. And I, just out of the box, having just like the alternating um, gray and white stripes is good. Yeah, absolutely. So basically all you have to do is imp pip install, of course, but then import side table and it adds an STB functionality to data frames, to Panda data frames. And then you can ask it questions like frequency. There's other stuff that you can also ask. There's like a bunch of different functionality there. So really nice for exploring new data sets. And it's basically a supercharged version of Panda's value counts with a little cross tab mixed in. So yeah, it's it's easy to use, and uh, if you're working with pandas, especially in Jupyter contexts, you know that's really where this makes sense. Um, give it a shot; I think it looks great. 